Hey campers, this is Justin with SNS Apache Camping Center. Uh, coming to you today with a really special piece of inventory. Uh, a little basic information. This is a 1995 Holiday Rambler Luma White. It's the 25cc. Uh, right at 25, 26 feet overall length. This coach was ordered brand new by us and bought by one of our longtime customers. It's come back to us and we elected to do some really awesome upgrades to it. Um, this is really a quality level that you don't see in, in travel trailers anymore. So let's do a quick walk around a little bit, talk about what all we've done. Um, the most glaring thing here is that this sucker's got full body paint. So uh, we did this here in our paint booth. This is a full body paint job with the, uh, the dark tan browns, Monaco style stripes. So we basically peeled it down, all the graphics came off, cleaned it up real good, painted it, put new graphics, uh, painted a lot of the exterior stuff black to match. So the exterior of this trailer is really striped, really good looking. Now another one of the things that we did as part of the teardown, every window, every piece of trim like this right here, everything got pulled off and totally lined with butyl tape and then re reattached and resealed. So this thing's ready to go for years to come. Uh, if you know anything about the old Holiday Rambler Illumilite series trailers, they were built like tanks. Holiday Rambler had their uh, legendary aluminum frame construction. They used aluminum framing that was interlocked um, and it was near bomb proof. So uh, once they interlocked them together, they were spot welded. And then instead of a laminated skin, this was a um, aluminum skin that was then pop riveted to the frame. So there's no such thing as delamination with an Illumilite trailer because it's not laminated to begin with. It was a completely different manufacturing process and it was a hundred times better than anything else on the market then and really on the market now. Uh, this construction method is really just expensive to do and that's probably why we don't see it anymore. Uh, let's walk around and, and look at kind of the, some of the things we've done. But this trailer will include this Hensley Arrow hitch. Uh, if you know anything about Hensley, so they are the end all be all for travel trailer hitches. They're also very, very expensive. Uh, power tongue jack, and this is actually a flagpole here. We've actually, this is an old H&H &H power tongue jack. We've actually added a uh, alamite here so you can keep this greased. These, that did not come standard with an alamite, so this thing will last forever if you keep it greased. Dual 40 pound aluminum tanks. These are very lightweight, but also hold quite a bit of LP. Front awning, of course, repainted with the Monaco esque stripes. New HR graphics. Now, this trailer, when we ordered it, uh, the customer had us add uh, window awnings and everything. So, these have got Carefree of Colorado Spirit awnings on all the windows, as well as a uh, full metal wrap patio awning. Now, down here, we added uh, three compartments along the underbelly or the, the frame rail. So a lot more storage on the outside than you previously had. Another thing to note on the construction of this trailer is that it was a full aluminum underbelly. It was also a full aluminum roof. So no rubber roof here to deal with. The refrigerator vent. These are American Racing aluminum wheels. These were added at the time of purchase in 95. The customer wanted aluminum wheels and they weren't available from holiday at the time. So we ordered him some wheels. And then it's also got a uh, trail air Equiflex suspension. Of course, like here. <clears throat> we added a fully detachable 30 amp power cord. So no more having to keep up or slide a power cord back into the hatch anymore. And the big kicker here that we've added, this compartment, this is a generator. We added an Onan Emerald Plus. This is, the, uh, this is a two cylinder, so it only runs at 1800 RPMs. Very quiet versus the old micro quads that ran at 3600, and it is a 4000 watt. We added the generator, this was not an option. This paint job really looks good. Coming around back, we added another storage compartment along the back wall. And then we've got a class one hitch that's welded to the frame. 
and it is also wired for lights. So you're ready to roll there. HR graphics, window awning. Really awesome construction here. This is a gas electric water heater. You've got uh, plug-ins outside as well as TV connections. Dual entryways, as you've already noticed. We'll step inside and take a look. All right, inside, we've added a fold-out sleeper sofa here that is an ultra leather. Uh, one of the really classy things uh, we've done in here is add this really nice cedar woodwork. So we've done cedar wainscoting all along the front of the trailer. We've also framed the doors in cedar. Now this table, this is an old school table that used to come in some of these trailers and motorhomes, but it's a folding table that now at this height is a coffee table. But if you just pull it up, it locks into place and comes up higher, basically do the height of a regular dinner table. And it rolls around, so you can put it out under the awning, you can do whatever you want with it, so it gives you a lot of options. We've got fluorescent lights throughout the trailer. That was an upgrade option for the Luma light at the time rather than pancake lights throughout. Mirrored refrigerator doors. The upgraded uh, bigger oven. We also did a, a tile backsplash around here. It looks really nice. You've got mirrored closets here. Back into the bedroom. Once again, we went to put the cedar wainscoting around the doors and the uh, the edge of the walls also around the bed down here incidentally the generator is underneath the bed but it is fully insulated and sealed off so it's in its own compartment <clears throat> into the bathroom oh and uh, no more carpet in here this is all linoleum floors, all the way throughout. In the bathroom, folding glass shower door. And the door has a magnetic catch that locks it up out of the way, so this gives you some separation from the rest of the trailer into your bedroom area. Uh, we use tile on the countertop as well as the floors in here. So this is a full tile bathroom along with the tile backsplash. My size shower with a seat. And this trailer is uh, something we had designed kind of for our own purposes. If we if we could design a travel trailer, this is kind of what we had in mind as far as the construction quality. If we could really bring back the old holiday Rambler Loom Light, we absolutely would. But we took that classic construction made some really needed tweaks to really bring it up to, to modern times. Um, I, this thing is like a cabin on wheels and it's really rustic, really classy and, and super well put together. This is absolutely a generational travel trailer. This thing will last for years and years and years if it's cared for as it has been already. So if you've got any questions about what you've seen, there's a lot going on here I know, uh, feel free to call us or email us. Once again, my name is Justin. I'm the internet sales manager. Anything you send through the website is going to come straight to me. Um, but other than that, come and see us. Come and look at it. This thing is not going to be here long. Anybody that really recognizes the old Holiday Rambler quality is going to be all over this thing, especially considering what all we've done to it. You will not regret an old Holiday Rambler, especially one that's been restored or a resto mod, if you will, as well as this one has been. Okay. So if you've got any questions, once again, call us or check us out on the website, 601-372-6426. Or you can hit us up online at www.ssapache.com. Once again, this is a 1995 Holiday Rambler Illumilite 25cc. Thanks.